you're just there to lift, they're just there to lift, you're all just doing your thing. There is so much equipment, like what is all, like what do I do with all these things? Got like nine bananas in there. Going on, it is your boy Murph. It is the day before Halloween, and it is like 80 degrees outside. It's one of the most, most beautiful, most beautiful, most beautiful days we have had all year. Very slight breeze, found some shade. I'm here on the beautiful McKeldon Mall. There's a sick fountain right over there, if you can see it. It's nice and long. Just hanging out. I wanted to talk about another topic that I think a lot of people will be finding helpful, and that is the topic of gym intimidation. For those of you who do not know what gym intimidation is, gym intimidation is the fear of going to the gym because you're intimidated by other people. Maybe you don't know what you're doing and you're just kind of afraid, or maybe you're afraid of like Hulk Hogan and the actual Hulk like on the squat rack screaming and dropping the weights really loud and they've got like 500 pounds on the bar. Maybe you're afraid of that and that is totally reasonable. And I'm here to help you deal with these fears and overcome them and find ways around them. So my first tip is, it's pretty common I would say, a lot of people do it. Uh, it's good for a lot of reasons. The first tip is to find a gym buddy. They really help just like calm you down, get you in the zone, hold you accountable, and really settle the fears. My second tip is another really big one. Before you go to the gym, make sure you know what you're doing. Make sure you know how to do everything that you wanna do. Just have it in your mind big cause for gym intimidation is when people get to the gym and they see all this equipment there's like there is so much equipment like what is all like what do I do with all these things right like I I don't know if I'm supposed to like stand upside down on this or lean over it or just pull this or what make sure you do a little bit of studying before you go Maybe you don't want to like lift weights. Maybe you just want to go do the stair climber. Make sure you know what you're doing, how to work the equipment, the correct form. Because if you know all these things before you go, you have nothing to be afraid of. Nobody's going to look at you weird because you're doing something strange because you, you already know how to work everything. And you don't have to know everything. You just have to know what you want to use for that day. So just before you go, do a quick little check. Like, how do I use this? What do I want to do? Maybe write it down on a piece of paper, give yourself little notes and like. Third tip is a nice little uh, a mental thing. If you're just afraid of all the people there, you're afraid people are watching you, you're afraid they're judging you, try to get in the mind of another person. Pretend like you're one of these people that you're afraid of in the gym. Chances are, they're not there to think of you. They're probably not even paying attention to you. It, on, honestly, they're just there to get their workout in. And if they're focusing their time on giving you weird looks or doing something to make other people feel uncomfortable or they're just going to the gym to judge other people, one, they're wasting their time and two, they're an awful person and you shouldn't care what they think anyway because they're an awful person and you just like, there's no reason to listen to an awful person like that. Other people really aren't, they're not out to get you, they're not out to judge you, they're just there to do the same thing you're doing. Tip number four, last time I did three, so this is like three plus one, it's a little bonus. It's not exactly a way to overcome gym intimidation, it's more of a way to avoid it. What I do, uh, my workouts are mostly calisthenics. If you want to, you can do calisthenics anywhere. So basically what it is, is it's, uh, it's working out without weights. So you can do push-ups, you can do push-ups in the comfort of your own home. You can do squat, you can do squat jumps and all these things, no weights, 
in the comfort of your own home. You don't have to pay for a gym membership. You don't have to waste your time driving or walking to the gym. You can do pull-ups on a tree branch anywhere. I'll probably have a video out sometime later about like how to do calisthenics exercises and get into it. But if you really can't overcome gym intimidation or you really don't like lifting weights, I highly suggest you get into calisthenics. Don't even have to deal with like going to the gym anymore. You don't have to deal with being afraid of all these people because you're not even gonna see them. You're just gonna be working out in the comfort of your own home or hopefully in the beautiful outdoors because that is probably my favorite place to work out. You can find some pull-up bars or dip bars outside somewhere or really even you could just run around and bike. You can find a nice place to swim or do push-ups somewhere. You can really, everywhere is a gym. Like, if you're not intimidated to be outside, then you will not have gym intimidation when working out with calisthenics. Those are my three plus one, sort of four tips on how to overcome, avoid, do whatever, get away with gym intimidation. Shouldn't even be a word in your vocabulary anymore because it's, you don't need it. You, you don't have it, so you don't have to use the word. So, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share it with a friend, share it with somebody who, who you think might be gym-timidated, share this video with them. Hopefully they can get over that fear, start making healthy changes in their life. And hopefully you all have a freaking beautiful day like it is out here. There is a plane in the sky and it sounds like somebody snoring and it won't go away. It's like flying across.